Unstoppable Domain Names. Who came up with that brand name? A fantastic A+. So Unstoppable Domain Names is a San Francisco-based company that is providing domain name extensions that are tied to the blockchain instead of being tied to the DNS system. Specifically, you can get a .crypto, which is tied to the Ethereum blockchain, or you can get a .zill domain name extension, which is tied to the Zillica blockchain, which is an alternative to Ethereum. The advantage of using these blockchain-based domain name extensions is just that they are decentralized. So the DNS system is controlled and operated by ICANN, so anything always needs approval from that governing body. But something like a .crypto or a .zill, these are based on the blockchain and they are just completely decentralized. So there's no governing body. There's nothing that requires any type of approval or permission. You, as the owner, own your domain name. So in this video, I want to explain to you everything that you need to know as a beginner about unstoppable domain names. Make sure to check the links in the description for timestamps and any resources mentioned in this video. So let's begin. How does domain name registration actually work? I think people are going to be quite surprised that it's way more complicated and technical than you imagined. So when you go to somewhere like Namecheap.com or GoDaddy.com, you're not actually buying the domain name. What you're doing is you're leasing the domain name through an ICANN certified domain name register. Why do I say ICANN certified? Because you can't get your domain names directly from ICANN, which is again, the nonprofit organization that manages the DNS system. You have to go through an ICANN certified domain name registrar in order to get a domain name. And that's just how it works. Like you're like, why do I have to do that? I don't know, why asking me? <laughs> Those are just the rules. And that's what people have been doing for the last few decades in order to get a domain name. So that's why you need to pay a yearly fee on your domain names because you're not actually buying and owning the domain name. What you're doing is leasing their domain name. So you're going to namecheap.com to get your .com. What they're doing is then they're going through the registry that manages that domain name extension, which is then totally managed and organized by ICANN, broadly speaking. So like when you get a .com, .net, .org, the registry for that extension is VeriSign, for example. So all these different domain name extensions have different registries. And the role of the registry is just to manage the administrative data for that specific domain name. NFT domain names versus the traditional DNS system, what's the difference? Well, the traditional DNS system is a centralized system, as I alluded to earlier, based around ICANN. So you have ICANN, you have your domain registries, then you have your ICANN certified domain name registrars. NFTs, by contrast, are non-fungible tokens. Non-fungible meaning like you can't jump in and change it. But like, what does that specifically mean? A non-fungible token is just a piece of data found on a blockchain that is verifiable and represents a unique digital item. In this instance, our domain names. .crypto versus .zill, what's the difference with these two? So if you jump over to unstoppabledomainnames.com, link in the description, you're going to find out that you can't get a .com, .net, .org why? Well, you can, you should already kind of know why, because those are managed by VeriSign, which is a domain name registry, which is managed by ICANN. That's part of the DNS system. That's why you can't get those types of domain names through unstoppable domain names. You can only get blockchain based domain names. Right now, they only have a .crypto and .zill at the time of recording this video. The main difference is that these two are tied to different blockchains. That's it. So you have your .crypto, which is tied to the Ethereum blockchain. You have your .zill, which is tied to the Zillica blockchain. The Ethereum blockchain is way more developed and you have a little bit more features and services built around uh, the Ethereum blockchain with a .crypto domain name than you do with a .zill. But functionally speaking, they are the same. Personalized crypto addresses that can be set up as a payment gateway. So this is the primary feature of unstoppable domain names. Obviously, over time, as like we have decentralized web hosts develop over time, it will be possible to use like a decentralized domain name and a decentralized web host to create your own decentralized website. Currently, it's not really possible. I mean, you can do it, but it's pretty technical. Uh, but what's more important is that you can set up your .crypto address or your .zill address as a payment gateway. So what a lot of beginners, I think, don't understand is like when you have Bitcoin, you have to send it to a specific Bitcoin address. If you have Litecoin, you have to send that to a Litecoin address. If you have Bitcoin Cash, you have to send that to a Bitcoin Cash address. And so it gets to be a little bit of a headache of managing all these different addresses. And if you want to get payment from specific people, you have to give them this address and this address and this address it's really a headache like what if there was just some way to combine everything into something that's a little bit more logical easy to use and easy to remember that's the advantage of using unstoppable domain names and setting up something like dot crypto dot zill as a payment gateway because then you can receive payments in of all different types of cryptocurrency to one address because when you get everything set up you just jump into your unstoppable domain names account and then you can add in your different wallets for your different cryptocurrencies so when anyone ever tries to send you a cryptocurrency to your uh, unstoppable 
Apple domain name, it automatically gets rerouted to the appropriate wallet. NFT domain name pros and cons. Is this perfect? Is this magical with no issues? No, of course not. There's pros and there's definitely cons that you need to be aware of. So the first con is that I would say that you could actually just lose your domain name. What I mean is like because it's tied to the blockchain and then you have to attach it to your wallet in order to claim it. Well, if you lose access to that wallet, then you lose your domain name, just like you would with any type of cryptocurrency. And, you know, like if your phone breaks and you can't remember your seed phrase, is it like, OK, well, you, you just lost your domain name. So that's a big risk, in my opinion. Another risk is that you could buy into a project that doesn't work out. So, for example, we have like dot zill domain name extensions, which are based on the Zillica blockchain. What happens if that project fails? What happens to your domain name? I would just say, OK, <laughs> bye bye to your domain name. So that's why most people kind of recommend going with maybe a dot crypto because it's tied to the Ethereum blockchain, which is a little bit more stable and established. So what are the pros of these NFT domain names? And there's quite a few. So I already got to the first one, which is being able to set it up as a payment gateway. And I think that's really valuable. I mean, you can just give you at once you have everything set up, I can just give you this one specific dot crypto address and then you can send me Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dogecoin, like anything I have set up on the back end. And it's going to get rerouted to the appropriate wallet without me having to do anything, without me having to list out my specific wallet addresses. Because you've seen this here on YouTube, like, you know, when you check the link in the description, like, oh, send me Bitcoin to this address, send me Ether to this address, send me Bitcoin cash to this address. It's like it's maddening because these addresses are so long and convoluted. And so it's just really nice that you can just use your dot crypto address to set up uh, everything as a payment gateway for your cryptocurrency. Uncensorable websites. So obviously with an NFT, it's a non-fungible token that's based on the blockchain. Like once you own and claim your domain name, nobody can take it away from you. Unstoppable domain names can't take it away from you. The only thing that can happen again is like you lose access to your domain name. Now, if you combine that with some type of like decentralized web hosts that are being currently developed, you can potentially create an uncensorable website, which I think is pretty cool. Another advantage is that these are just an alternative to the DNS system. And now there's nothing wrong with the DNS system. Obviously, it works. It's great. You know, .com, .net, .org, et cetera. But it's nice that there's a little bit of competition being developed and that you have a few more options. If you want to go into the DNS system or you want to go into the blockchain system, now you have your choice of both. There's also no custodian. There's no third party that's in charge of your domain name. So like when you get your dot crypto from unstoppable domain names and you attach it to your wallet, you and you alone are the owner. There's no third party that can potentially seize that or take that domain name away. As you're the owner of your domain name, there are no renewal fees. You pay one time and it's yours forever once you claim it and attach it to a wallet. Because you're, again, you're not leasing it through Namecheap or GoDaddy and through the DNS system. Is on the blockchain once you claim ownership it's yours forever and last transferring domain names is way easier on the blockchain it takes like a minute you could just send domain names between wallets with no problem if you watch my uh, how to transfer a domain name video here on youtube it's not too complicated but it, it is a little bit of a headache it does take a little bit of a process you have to get you know permission from the current domain name register to release the domain name in order to move it over to this other domain name register etc uh, when you have a dot crypto dot zill any type of blockchain based domain name you can transfer it to wherever you want whatever wallet you want with ease okay so now let's jump into my laptop and get into the tutorial section of the video where i want to show you unstoppable domain names how to get a domain name how to set up a specific wallet so you can attach the domain name that you bought to your wallet etc so you can really understand how to properly use unstoppable domain names so let's get started welcome to my laptop let's begin so this is unstoppabledomains.com now to get started with this website is very simple you just come here and then you type in the domain name that you want right here and then click on search now i want just want to mention that they do have specific price points for how many characters are in the domain name that you want to get so something over eight characters will be forty dollars the smaller the domain name uh the more expensive it's going to be so for example if i was come here and i type in my last name two thousand four hundred dollars uh i think i'll pass <laughs> but anyways let me go ahead and just add this to the cart for demonstration purposes We'll go to the carts and that's it. Okay. And then you click on here, check out and that's it. And so you can pay with a credit card, PayPal, crypto, or you can pay with the crypto.com app. And I really like, it. I like that it's flexible. I like it's that it's not one of those weird crypto websites where you have to pay in cryptocurrency or you have to buy unstoppable coin, then exchange it or whatever. No, you can pay with however payment gateway you want to use. 
Okay, and that's it. And so once you're all set, then you'll have your my domain name list in your account. And so we have right down there. So I own my name dot crypto and make a website dot crypto. And that's it how to claim your dot crypto domain address now the reason why you'd want to go through the process and actually claim uh, your domain address is because one then you actually own it and then two you can do whatever you want with it if you want to go sell it on some type of like nft marketplace you can go ahead and do that okay so just like when you buy any type of cryptocurrency from an exchange like uh, coinbase for example what it is is just an iou it's an iou until you actually move the cryptocurrency from coinbase to your own wallet this is the same so this is on there this is you know this is like a hot wallet i guess you know this is you you haven't claimed it yet so it's an iou that you own this and so i just want to briefly mention at the time of this video that there are a few ways to claim your domain name the first way is that you have to purchase a uh, claim with credits fee so that costs uh at this time 40 dollars per domain name and so that pays for the gas fees. You're like, what are gas fees? Look, this is the Ethereum network. You actually have to pay uh, to move things on and off via gas fees. Number two is you can pay the gas fees directly from your own wallet. So if you already have a wallet set up and you have Ethereum in there, you can pay with your own Ethereum or you can just wait until August. <laughs> so then they'll have a scaling solution that makes it easy to claim. But anyways, to get started is very simple. So we go here, say if I want to claim this one, make a website.crypto, we'll claim with Ethereum right there. Claim process started. So now we have to send the code by email. So I'll click that. And so right over here, we'll jump over here and wait for the code to hit my inbox. There it is. We'll take this. All right, so here's the code. I'll take this. We'll just highlight that. Right click, copy, paste. There we go. Boom, put that in. Okay, great. Now you're like, whoa. What do I do? <laughs> Choose wallet for claiming. So Unstoppable Domains has their own app. We have a Web3 wallet, Coinbase wallet, all Mu wallet is specifically for Ethereum. Now there are a few different wallets that they recommend. So for desktop, there's MetaMask. For mobile, you can use the Coinbase wallet, Trust Wallet. For me personally, I like MetaMask if you're going to be using desktop and I like Trust Wallet for mobile uh, with regards to Unstoppable Domains. So we're just going to use MetaMask. So to get started with MetaMask is easy meta mask there we go okay so we click here then we want to download it now click on that install metamask for chrome okay and let's go ahead and add to chrome add extension and there we go okay so now the metamask uh, app is installed on our browser so we just click on get started we are new to metamask so here is where you have to set up a wallet a wallet is what you do with your cryptocurrency and any type of nft you have uh, so if you already have a wallet, so that means like, yeah, like maybe if your phone broke or whatever, when you lost access to your device and you come over here and you just put in your 12 seed word phrase and everything reloads. That's why everybody tells you keep track of those seed phrases because they are that important. Anyways, I'll create a wallet for demonstration purposes. No, thanks. MetaMask. All right. Let me go ahead and create a quick little password. Okay, so once you sign in, you're gonna have your secret backup phrase. This is very important. So you wanna click this, it's going to reveal to you 12 words. You wanna make sure that you write that down somewhere secure because if your computer breaks, your phone breaks, whatever, and you lose access, if you're, once you connect your .crypto.zill domain to this MetaMask wallet, it's tied to this wallet. You are the owner, so it's your responsibility. If you lose this, you lose your domain name. So <laughs> please, Take the time, just jot it down somewhere and keep it somewhere secure. All right, so once you put in everything correctly, you should receive this screen where it says congratulations. So just go ahead and click all done. All right, and that's it. So there you go. So now you have an Ethereum wallet set up on your laptop or whatever you're using <laughs> to follow along with this video. So in anyways, we wanna come over here. Let's click on account details. So personally, I would like to change this to something else like, uh, domains or something that more logical and then right down here is the ethereum address okay so i'll just click on the little check mark there we go and that's it okay so once you have everything set up with metamask leave it open in a new tab within your web browser with you logged in next you need to navigate back to this specific page okay your domain names if you try and just click on the web wallet from where you're at it's going to give you an error so anyways let's cl click here claim with ethereum there we go now we can click this and it should work 
There we go. So now everything's loading right there and our wallet should appear right there. So we click on next, then view the address of your permitted account. Let's click on connect. Okay, and so then you just wanna make sure to double check this right here. Okay, so double check that this address is the same address. Uh, we go here to account details, double check that it's the same address right there, okay? And that's really, that's really it. That's really all you have to do. Okay, so now you have to just click on sign saying like, yeah, 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 I sign, I understand, like this, that's my wallet, correct. Now we have to say, set the owner of this domain name to this address, click on I understand. Now you have set a custom gas price and then we have to sign the transaction. And there you go. Okay, so what's going to happen right here is alert insufficient funds, that's totally normal, okay? Because this is a brand new wallet, I don't have any Ethereum in this, so I can't actually pay for the gas fees to actually claim this. And so again, you have a few different options, so you can either go here and buy a claim credit. Let me just navigate back to the homepage. There we go. So we can buy a claim credit right here if we want to claim uh, our domain name, or you can just wait. So the other option is just to put Ethereum in this wallet yourself. So you can go to Coinbase, buy Ethereum, transfer the, the Ethereum to this MetaMask wallet, and then you can pay for the Ethereum that way. Or you can just wait until they come up with a solution which they're working on as a way to claim your domain name for free. All right, everyone, that's it for this video on unstoppable domain names. So these domain names are unstoppable because they are tied to the blockchain. You own them forever and nobody can take it away from you unless your own incompetence and you lose access to your wallet. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. My name is David from WebsiteCreatePro.com. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing, hit that like button, and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.